Yo, what's up guys? Jesse LaFlair here from LaFlair Parkour and Team Tempest. Today we are doing a tutorial on the lache. How to swing from one bar to the other. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, a little backlit, rocking this full beard. Just got to work on a sweet movie. Uh, something to do with the numbers 300. Um, but check it out, this is what a lache looks like. So there's three different grip techniques. There's open hand, there's closed hand, which is when your thumb wraps around, also known as gorilla grip, and then there's fingertips. I would say I'd practice all three, see which one you feel most comfortable with. The fingertip one's really not that good for swinging because obviously you don't have as much grip, but it will help if you ever have bad calluses and tears on your hands. Cool. Speaking of calluses, my hands are actually shaved. If you've seen my tutorial on how not to rip, you'd actually understand how that's going to help you from tearing your skin on uh, too many swings. So, if you haven't seen that, I'll put a box right here. Cool, let's move on. So like with any move we do, the stronger we are, the easier it's actually going to be. This move involves a lot of core strength, okay? So we're going to talk about two major positions while swinging, and those are hollow, all right? Nice strong body, strong long lines, and then arched, where your body is actually arched back. When you're swinging, just like on a swing set, you're going to want to kick forward and then pull back. Once you're on the bar and you figured out what grip you want to start off with, just try to get your body to start moving. One of the biggest mistakes that happens is people try to pull, do too much with their arms and their body is too loose. If I'm loose and bending at my hips, I'll never go anywhere, okay? Just like on a trampoline, the stronger your body is, the more bounce will actually follow through your body. So be strong, kick forward, pull back. This is where your core comes in. Once we start, we can go hollow, arched, hollow, arched. Think about kicking your toes at the bottom like as if there's a soccer ball. Kick, pull, hold it nice and long, pull, okay? Get that swing going. Good. Okay, so you started to swing, you're noticing that your hands are actually starting to get wrenched off. And what happens is, as you grab the bar, you swing, each time your fingers are going to get further and further down and you potentially will go flying backwards like that. You don't want to do that, okay? Um, what we're going to do to help us from doing that, or save us from doing that, is actually do what we call a regrip. And all that is, is actually taking your hand and just sliding your fingers back over the, the rail or whatever you're swinging on, okay? You don't need to do this, which I see a lot of people doing, is like they jump up and try to grab it. There's no reason to ever make your hand leave the rail that much just to grab back down onto it, okay? So, regrip, it's gonna save you. All right? Now this is an advanced way to start your swing. It's going to take a little bit of muscle and control. The idea is to pull your legs up with your core, shooting your legs out as far out as you can get them. The longer your body, the more swing that you'll have. So when we do this, make sure that you get that full extension and then ride that extension all the way back, weight at the top, and then kick back down to get that swing going, okay? You're here, you're going to pull the bar up to your chest and then shoot your legs through. So it's here. Ooh. Nice and long. Okay? Nice and long. Now, not everyone's gonna have access to an incredible bar setup like this where you can actually go from one bar over a distance and grab another bar. Uh, monkey bars are usually too small, things like that. So, you don't have to always go lache to recatch lache. You can actually go lache precision, lache to cat. Um, Lache into a stride. I don't know, do what you want. But a cool way to practice throwing the bar, especially if you don't have another bar to catch, is just mark out how far you can get. As you get further, put a line in the dirt or sand or grass or wherever, and then see if you can get past that, landing on your feet. What we're gonna talk about now is how to throw the bar behind you. The most important thing about going forward is making sure that your momentum continues to go forward. And that is gonna happen by throwing the bar. Now what do I mean? What I'm talking about is as you're on the bar and your body's swinging forward, your, your legs are getting to that front edge where it's about to pull you or your energy is just about to start coming back down, you want to go right before that. 
So everything moves forward and then throwing the bar is just what it sounds like. Shucking the bar behind you. What do I mean by that? The bar's not gonna move. The idea is actually to get yourself to move so that when you throw the bar, your feet go forward and then you chuck it behind you, getting your chest to come forward too. Now, a lot of people think that's it. That's all they need to do is throw the bar, but if you wanna go into a really nice lache where your chest is facing back down and you can grab the bar back into another safe swing, you're going to need to do what I call an S hook. And that is just taking your legs and knees and driving them backwards. So you're here kicking back down. I'll show you one of those right now. Check it out. Shut the bar. That's it. Okay. So these bars are even a little too small for me. So I can dial it down a little bit to exaggerate that S hook. Or instead of just going too far into the bar, I can actually take that energy and put it into height. Now I can actually take that lache up higher and then catch. So let's see one of those nice and high. So what you're noticing is while I'm doing this, I'm actually using a split hand technique. What that means is I'm not throwing both hands at the same time, which is completely cool and a lot of people think is better off. When I do it, I like to go split hand, so I'll chuck this one, and then what that does is it allows my chest to open up a little bit and give me a little bit longer extension on how far I can throw that second hand, okay? Two hands here, this is my max. But if I let go of one, now I'm here. Boom, okay? So try both of them, see what works for you, and uh, let's continue on. Now, we have to be careful about how we actually catch the bar. The way that you just saw me do it is by leaving my legs behind me, coming down into a nice gradual swing back out. A lot of people when first starting out on this move will tend to throw themselves past it and land under. So when they grab the bar, their body is slamming down here. That is one of the biggest reasons people rip on their hands. Because even if your hands are shaved down and you have smooth, no calluses, all of that impact and force of your body weight plus all the energy coming from that swing is going to grip that bar and slide that skin off and want to rip it. So try not to ever just let your body go loose. Even if you land under the bar, you could still grab it in a strong position and absorb it with your arms, okay? But what we want to do is land with our body back behind it. So now when I grab that bar, I am in a position where my energy can continue out through my swing. Does that make sense? I hope so. Um, so let's look at one nice landing uh, from this angle. So just to recap, remember to start your swing strong. Choose a grip that best fits you and you're most comfortable with. As you start to swing, do not forget to re-grip. After re-gripping and getting your swing, you're going hollow, full, uh, backwards, arched forwards, really driving those hips forwards, and then riding, wait until you get to the top, start to come down, then drive those heels back. Kick that soccer ball at the bottom, boom! With both feet, and then throw the bar however you see fit. Both hands or one, but remember to chuck it as hard as you can because that is gonna keep your momentum going forward and get your chest to go up and over your feet. As that's happening, give it a little bit of an S hook, drive those heels back and let your body start to go into a falling, facing the ground position as you grab that next bar. If you fall, remember you can always roll out. Tap those feet down and push into that safety roll or PK roll. I have a tutorial for that as well, um, but I hope you know how to do that by now. So that is it. Let's check out some other angles. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, do what you gotta do. Jesse LaFlair from LaFlair Parkour and Team Tempest. Peace out, guys.